you are about to embark on the most wonderful experience of your life. I will not explain at this moment how and why it works. I don't have the time, it just does. The secret is not apparent to the casual listener. It reveals itself only to the person who is willing to follow the step-by-step -step instruction and who will follow through with a mental exercise by himself in the days that follow. Don't expect a miracle instantly. Results often appear immediately, but usually because of individual differences of makeup. It may vary from three minutes to three days. Make sure you don't do this exercise for the express purpose of feeling better or to get something out of it. That attitude destroys the effectiveness of the meditation and gives it a selfish twist. Do it for the pure love of doing and thinking properly. Do it to be better rather than to feel better. Desiring something in return for what we do causes us to be annoyed when results do not appear as expected. I know you want to feel better, but for the time being put aside your fears, anxiety, guilts and worries and give all your efforts to thinking and feeling and understanding my instructions to you. Repeat the exercise meditation by yourself many times a day, at least three if possible, and as many as seven. Do not try to analyze why it works. There is a vast difference between thinking about and analyzing. If you do exactly as you're told, there will follow periods of well-being and perhaps periods of doubt, like, will it last? Am I kidding myself? It's too simple to work. Take advantage of your increased ability to control your thoughts to eliminate this from your thinking. Keep your mind on what you're told and you will eventually understand automatically. Analysis is a substitute for understanding and will lead to doubt, and doubt will lead to confusion, depression and skepticism. Although you cannot make yourself believe, you can prevent yourself from disbelief. Therefore, be patient. Wait until you understand without effort. Don't wait until you feel like doing your exercise. Do them religiously. The object of the exercise is to control the way you feel. Our feelings have subtle ways of talking to us like, you're too busy now, do it later. Be careful the exercise doesn't become mechanical. Do it each time as though you've never done it before. There is often an uplifting feeling lasting several days. As you become accustomed to this, you may start to question, is it wearing off? I'm not getting anything out of my exercise. Perhaps I'm not doing it right. Most of us are used to thinking with our feelings only. A man in great pain feels better after a shot of morphine. The intense relief feels good for a short time. He really doesn't feel good, he just doesn't have any pain. Should you experience this, don't be concerned. Do your exercise regardless whether you think you're succeeding or not. Never do any more than you've been taught. The exercise meditation is what it implies. The exercise brings the subconscious into subjection of the conscious mind. The meditation is the idea dwelt upon. Although the instructions contain apparently many suggestions, closer examination will reveal only one. Never abuse the power you develop through the lack of understanding, like commanding yourself, I will be brave, I will lose weight. The meditation exercise contains all the ingredients for perfect self-control. It accumulates only when practiced daily. If you want to break some habit or control some problem, at this moment, stop trying. I know it's very important to you, but up to now you haven't succeeded your way. Put the same concentration and effort into your exercise meditation, and you will find the problem will take care of itself in a very short while. There will come a time when a particular problem becomes less important. This may be quite puzzling, but remember what I said, don't analyze. From experience, just be glad that it must be. Be patient, in time you will understand. My voice is to be your guide for three days in a row. The fourth day, go through the basic exercise without my help. Then come back to the lesson on the fifth day. The sixth and the seventh, by yourself. Back with me on the eighth. The next four days, by yourself, and so on. It is essential that you eventually learn to do it by yourself without any help from me whatsoever. But the day you stop and feel you can get by without your exercise will be the day you begin to fall back. Now find a straight back chair and choose either hand, loosely hanging it by your side. Be careful not to go to sleep or do the exercise for relaxation. The procedure is only to prevent tension. The cart before the horse procedure will lead to disappointment. If God wanted us to be relaxed in our foolishness, he would have so provided. I ask you now not to proceed with the remainder of this side of the recording until you have proceeded with the exercise on the other side.